Hello, in this video I want to talk about objects in R. So first I create three vectors A, B, which is which I make a character vector and C which will be a logical vector. So these are all. Uh, these are three vectors, and uh, those variables are also objects in R. And an object has uh, attributes, and each object in R has at least two attributes, which are mode and length. Length is the number of elements that the object contains, and uh, mode is the type of the object. And in, th in this vector case, it's also the type of each element in this vector. And a vector can uh, only contain uh, elements of the same mode. You can't mix it up. It so, first let's see the mode of A. We saw that already. It's numeric. Mode of B is character. Mode of C is logical. Now, I want to mix that up. And that should not work in, R in R. Let's see a number, a character, and a logical value. Now, what is the mode of A? It's character. R uh, made uh, one a, ca a character. Uh, you can see this by the double quotes. And true is also here not the logical value true, but it's a character. He cha R changed it to uh, to a character vector. Let's see a different example. Uh, true, true, and a one. What is a? Now it is a num numeric vector. It changed the true to one. So now the a contains only elements of the same mode. This is this is not possible, and this is not possible either. Okay. So each element has at least the attributes mode and length, and it can have more. But this simple uh, simple objects don't have more. But you can see the other attributes with this command. But it's null for for my objects. Um, now. If these are all objects, how can I see what objects are currently live in my workspace? This is uh, this can be done by by the command. What is that? So can be done by the command objects. And ABC is currently live in my workspace. This is the same command. It does the same. So I want to remove the object. B and the object C. And now let's see, only A is a live. So I can, with this command, I can check what objects I currently live in my workspace and I can delete them if I don't need them anymore. Okay, in my next video, I will talk about project management in R. And so you can um, separate different workspaces from each other.